This video is to show you how to use the app called ES File Explorer that you can find in the Android Market or Play Store. And when you open this app, you want to click on this icon that looks like an atlas and smartphone. And it will give you an, the easy feature or fast access to the features on this app. We're going to focus on favorite and local. Let's go to local. And home page will give you a quick overview of the main features on your tablet. SD card 0 is your internal memory. On your device, it may read device memory, emulated, or internal memory. External SD card is your additional memory that you add to your tablet. And if you don't know what that means, this is the external memory. And it's a chip that you add to your tablet for additional storage. So let's go back here and I just want to let you know that if you hit on the home screen or SD card 0 or in your tablet it may say internal memory, device memory or emulated whatever it says on your tablet. The home and the internal memory are the same folder. So let's click on home because I want to show you the files that I downloaded from another site. So any files that you download from another site will appear in your internal memory. Now, for files that appear on this tab called download, in order for files to appear here, you have to download them directly from ES File Explorer. So let me take you there. And let's go to the favorite folder. And to download files directly from ES File, click on add. Then you'll get this dialog box. Then here in the path section, you have to enter the exact URL address of the site. And in the name, you can call it whatever you want. And for sample purposes, I'm going to call it test. Click on add. And then we go back here. And test is there. And if we click on it, it's going to go directly to the site that I, that I added on the path. I'm going to click on Publications, and I'm going to click on Books and Brochures. And once you're in the section that uh, you want to be in, you can add another favorite or another bookmark by being in that section first and then going to the bottom of the screen and hit Add to Favorite. And it gives you the exact URL address, which you shouldn't change. And here is the section where you can change it. And I'm going to delete this section. And I'm just going to call it Online Books. Say Add. And then if you go here on the Favorites, Online Books will show. And so it's going to go directly to Books and Brochures. Now let me show you how to download a file. Um, just for, your, uh, for uh, information, this icon gives you a list of the written documents. EPUB and MOBI are file formats that contain links such as scriptures and references that are within the article. PDF doesn't contain any links. And this microphone here is are your audio files that you can download. So I want to download in EPUB format, so I'm going to click EPUB and then it will start downloading and as you can see it gives you the name of the file, the size and where it's downloading downloading it to in the to section. And I'm not going to open the file because I just want to show you where it's at in ES File Explorer. And if you go to the local section and click on download that file now appears in ES File Explorer. So if it doesn't appear here, remember to go to your internal memory. Now, in order to move the file that you've downloaded, you give it a long press and you will get this check mark that shows up here. And then after you highlight it, you go to the bottom of the screen and you can use copy, cut, delete, or rename. And for demonstration, I'm going to use cut, which is move, and I'm going to click on cut. And then you go to the top of the screen, and you want to 
click right here on this little blue section and then it will give you the list of folders. Uh, SD card is your internal memory, external SD card is your external memory. I'm going to I want to move it to external memory so I have to select that. And I'm going to select books because that's the folder that I want to move it to. You know you're in the folder you want to move it to because that's the name that appears on this side. So then you go to the bottom of the screen and you click paste and that file will be successfully moved to that folder. Now, let's go to the down to the download section and you'll see and if it doesn't appear right away, click on this X mark until you see download there and as you can see that file has been moved. Now I want to go to the um, internal memory and I want to go to the file that I've downloaded from another app and I want to show you how to move or copy multiple files. So you give it a long press and I showed you how to cut from this section. Now I want to let's tap on the more section and it also allows you to move or copy so I'm going to press move from here to show you another way and then go to the top of the screen and hit this right here and choose I'm going to I want it to go to external memory and I want it to go to books and I know they're on there because it's going to say move to books and then I go to the bottom of the screen and say OK and it will move those files to that folder. Now another thing that I want to show you is how you can send files to your friends or whomever you want. Give it a long link and let's say I want to send these two files to someone. Go to tap on more, click on share, click on the email address and the files that you want to send appear right there then you can just fill in the two uh, the contact information and send it to your friend I just wanted to show you that real quick now another thing that you can do is um, you can change your view if you click on um, let's go to a folder where there's actual files and you go to view and you can click on medium icon and it displays the folders in that manner and I like to use the medium detail because it gives you more information on the file and another thing you can do on view is you can sort the files by name or you can sort the files by size I prefer names and another thing you can do is search now before you search, the first thing you have to do is go here and click on device because it will search everything on your tablet. So now that you've done that, go to search and I'm going to search for files with the letters MRC. Click search and every file that has that those letters will appear on the screen. And there they are. And another thing that you might want to do is create a folder. And let me show you quickly how to do that. The first thing you want to do before you create a folder is to place your uh, place your cursor wherever you want to folder wherever you want to create the folder. Let's say I'm going to create it in uh, external memory. And I want to create a folder within the folder called books. So now that I'm there, I'm in the book folder. Go to the bottom of the screen, say new. And then I can create, click on folder. And then I'm going to call this folder test. Say OK. And now the test folder appears in the folder called books. Now let me show you how to delete it. If you press on it long, Go to the bottom, click delete, and say OK. And it's going to ask you, do you really want to delete it? And I said yes, and it's gone. And so that's a quick overview of how to 
use e as file explorer and to exit just click on the tab and hit the exit key and that finishes our demonstration of ES File Explorer.